double sort is the slowest algorithm we've seen so far in this series. In this episode, we'll search for even less efficient algorithms. Here's how this short-sighted robot sorts three elements. It starts by sorting the first pair, then the second pair, and then the first pair again. To prove that this works for any three elements, let's mark just the brightest ball. The first step guarantees it will be within reach of the second step. The second step will put it in place. And the last step will sort the remaining two elements. The same idea can be extended to longer lists. Here we start by sorting the first two thirds, then the last two thirds, and then the first two thirds again. To prove it works, let's mark the three brightest elements. The first step makes sure they're all within the reach of the second step. The second step puts them sorted in their correct positions, and the last step sorts what remains. So here's how Stooge Sort works with four elements. As before, it divides the task to three steps of two-thirds each. Since two-thirds of four is not a whole number, we round up. Executing these three steps guarantees the end result will be sorted, as we just saw. It will now start executing the first step. It will do that in the only way it knows how, stooge sort. Subdivide this part into three steps and execute them one by one. Now that the first step is complete, it can continue to the next step. And so on. And now six elements. Divide the task to three steps and start executing the first step of four elements, applying stooge sort recursively, as we just saw. Once the first step is complete, it will proceed to recursively handle the next steps.
BOGO sort starts by checking if the list happens to be already sorted. It scans the list, checking every adjacent pair is correctly ordered. If it finds one that's not, it randomly shuffles all the elements and starts over, and so on.
The robot shuffled the list using a mechanical mechanism. Now let's discuss how to do it algorithmically. Here's one way to do it. We'll start with the first element and randomly select an element to swap it with. We'll repeat the same thing with the next element and so on. This naive algorithm looks okay, but there's something wrong with it as we'll soon demonstrate. Here's a slightly different algorithm known as the Fisher-Yates shuffle. The first round is the same, but the element we selected will not participate in the next round. We'll continue only with the remaining elements, and so on. We'll demonstrate this algorithm works correctly with three elements. The first random choice has three equally probable outcomes. The second one, only two. And we're done. We ended up with six possible outcomes with equal probability, which are exactly the six possible permutations of three elements. Now back to the naive algorithm. The first random choice has three possible outcomes. The second one also has three possible outcomes. And also the third. We got 27 equally probable outcomes. And here's the problem. 27 is not divisible by six. If we group these outcomes by permutation, we'll see some occur more than others.